Today we are going for a sail on the Lady Nelson, so stick around. Good morning everybody, here Hello. we are in the wonderful sunny Tassie today after Hello. a few cold days. Hello. Yeah, just ignore him. We went, <laughs> we went and had a, a oh, little bit of a celebratory. No, I'm suffering very bad sinus. Long today. week end celebration last night. Uh, and I woke Jeff up pretty early to do what we're doing today. So V8 supercars are on. He wanted to watch the supercars. Five hours sleep. I'm taking him. I'm cranky. Into town. I'm cranky. For a full day of Hobart experiences, and we're going to bring them. So, if you want to see what we get up to in town, that's a little bit different to what we've done on the channel before. I don't think it's worth it. It's just my honest opinion. <laughs> Stick around and watch the video. <laughs> Go back to bed and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Have a long weekend. <laughs> I just started the car. This is the channel chair. This is Hey! It's not the channel. It's the Chiani. I'm fucking I don't know. Goodness, help me today. Oh my God. Parking in Hobart is really difficult. There's not a lot of spots, hard to get a park. The Domain is a great place to park. There are a few spots. You're close to town, you can just walk straight in. And it's also where you'll find the Cenotaph, our Anzac Memorial is here. Yeah, close, you've got, to, close to the Hobart <laughs> you know, You've got the walkway over there, which will take you up to Come on, be closed. Government House and also Botanical Gardens. It is a little windy today, not too much, and the weather is going to be pretty fine. We might get up to about 22 like we did yesterday, which would be nice. And it is the long weekend in March. So for those people who like to know about weather, dates, days, that kind of thing on the channel. This is where you come to get your weather. What's it gonna be in Brisbane today? Who invited you? You did. Should have let him sleep in and watch the supercars. Oh, it's going to annoy me. Don't. If you like supercars, make a post below. Gen 3, first race of the year. Different cars. I don't know if I like it, to be honest with you. But... Can't hear you. Sorry. No. It is a very accessible and short walk from the domain down into the first part of town. You'll cross Evans Street and making your way down past the Grand Chancellor and you have soon hit the Hobart waterfront. In this area of town, you'll have the old Hobart Wool Store, Zero Davy, also the Henry Jones Hotels. They're all, and it is this area behind me now that is where the proposed uh, new AFL stadium is going to be built. So all of those hotels are going to be nice and close. And anyone visiting for the AFL matches will have just a very short walk through to Salamanca, Wharf, lots of restaurants and bars. It's going to be fantastic if it goes ahead, of course. The Lady Nelson, which is our adventure today, is located at Elizabeth Street Pier. And this current vessel is a full-sized replica of the original Lady Nelson. It was built in Tasmania in 1997-8 as Tasmania's tall ship. The original Lady Nelson was built on the River Thames in 1798 and it went missing around 1825 during a sail through to Timor. The original Lady Nelson was used in the transportation of people and other goods in the colonies as they were first beginning here in Australia. The original was also used for a bit of charting and exploration during its time at sea. This replica, which is now located on the Hobart waterfront, has a really important role for tourism. Locals and tourists can enjoy harbour cruises. You can actually hire this one out for different events and so forth as well. And it's a totally volunteer organisation. This trip today cost us $45 each. And the cruise goes for around 90 minutes. And during that time, you get to see the volunteers who are learning how to sail go through the motions. I'll tell you what, it's a little bit stressful and also a lot of work. So it's well worth actually getting on this little boat and seeing what they do actually have to get up to.
of the sales at the front got a little bit stuck today and it was really interesting talking to the volunteers about you know thinking about back in the day some of these masks and these tall ships would have been three times higher and they're up there in barefoot and no safety harnesses they reckon the rate of death was one per every trip that's a terrible statistic It was a really lovely day to be out on the water. The Lady Nelson will travel down through the Tasman Bridge and turn around before it sets its sail and travels back toward Hobart City. What I do know about any cruise that you go on, even though it might be a two or three hour cruise, it always seems to go so quickly. Could have easily have spent another couple of hours out on the water. And just like that, our adventure on board the Lady Nelson was over for the day. Being on the Lady Nelson was an absolute great way to spend the morning. And we just got off. The, um, they have two different uh, cruises, I guess you call them, day sails a day. That one was the 11 o'clock. They have another one at one. It's about a 90 minute cruise and it costs $45 each for us to go on that one. Well worth it. You get to see the runnings of the ship. The people on there are volunteers and they're all learning how to sail. So you get to experience what it's really like. Our next stop is Customs. We're going to go and have some lunch at Customs House, if we can get in. Yeah. We've got two cruise ships in today, so it's pretty busy. Hopefully we'll be able to get a seat outside and, and yeah, have a bite to eat. Needless to say, Customs was incredibly busy, so we headed across the road to Franklin Wharf. This looked empty, but after we'd sat down, it filled up pretty quickly, so we got in there just at the right time. The pizza. Pizza here's a good. Does that make sense? The pizzas here are good. We had a great day out today. We went to the Franklin Wharf, had our pizza, and we've made our way back to the domain now to pick up the car and head back home. So, and another 10,000 steps. Yeah. We're getting the walks up. Time to lose a little bit of that flab, flubber bit. that's around. A lot of it. Oh, I was saying the ball is just been good, but anyway, thanks for sticking around. Yeah. If you like our videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Yep. If you yeah. want to see more coming up on the channel, leave some comments. Loving all the comments that everyone's leaving, so thank you. And Except I'll... the nasty ones about me. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video.